All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I would ask that uh, if you find this video any, in any way informative or entertaining, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. Today, I wanna do a quick open box video of something I ordered a few days ago and just give my, my first impressions based off what I, uh, you know, what I see, what we read, whatever, and we'll all go over it together. And again, I uh, just ask if you like and subscribe to the channel if you find this in any way entertaining or informative. Okay, so let's get started here. This is my packaging. All right, so bring that. All right, and I am using mic on this. I'm using a microphone on the GoPro Three. I'm using a microphone on a GoPro 3. So, we'll see how it works with the audio. I've had some complaints about the audio in the past. All right, here we go. So, it was double packaged. I ordered it from Amazon, sealed in a plastic bag. And of course, you guys see it's the McGuire's Pro Hybrid, Pro Hybrid Ceramic Sealant. It's a 16 ounce bottle. And I know. I've had some people complain that they can't find the 16 ounce bottles. If you look at uh, my last video, I put a link to where I ordered this at on Amazon. And I can already tell you it's got a great smell because I can already smell it through the package. And this was sent to me by the Clean Garage Auto Detailing Supplies. They sent me a little card here, 5% off on my next order, which is kind of cool. I don't order a, a great deal as far as quantity. So I don't know if I'll use this, but I'll definitely keep it. Put it over there. Maybe that's a shout out to the Clean Garage crew. Mm, yeah, it's got a nice grape smell. It's M27. Sealant. Uh, let's see, hybrid ceramic SIO2 sealant provides our most Durable professional sealant ever. That's their claim. Their most durable sealant ever. Uh, incredible gloss, slickness, and beading on paint and paint protection film. So this is part of this. Part of their, uh, uh, I guess, part of their argument or part of their claims. It's, it's good to be used on paint protection film. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they don't recommend this being used on the matte finish because it's supposed to add gloss. So, uh, and it can be used in the sun and won't stain the trim. That's another bonus, it won't stain trim. So that makes it more of a synthetic type wax and or sealant than it does your traditional waxes because your traditional waxes usually stain your trim. You know, leave that, leave that, that gray or, or milky haze on your trim. Uh, directions here. Uh, for best results, first use McGuire's paint and iron remover decontamination basic is what they're saying. Uh, they also recommend that you do a paint correction on, on your vehicle. It doesn't say that you have to use McGuire's specifically. Uh, but they do recommend you do a paint correction on your car. So that's part of the directions. Basically use your iron decon remover or decontamination for your paint, then use a paint, do a paint correction. So, uh, pro tip, use McGuire's M799 Pro Hybrid Ceramic Bead Booster. So basically, you use it in conjunction with that. And it features, note, this is a note, it says it features a unique self-leveling technology. So basically, you apply it, and if you apply it un uneven, if you give it time to set up, you let it set up and it levels, then you buff it off. I think you're supposed to let this set up, and I haven't seen this on the directions yet, but I, yeah, here you go. Allow product a minimum of two to five minutes to cure. And I believe you're supposed to let it set up after you've applied it for 
12 to 24 hours. So, so here you go, folks. This is it. This is supposed to be, and of course, it's under the Meguiar's Pro line. Okay, Pro line of products. And this costs right at 33, $32, $33 for a 16 ounce bottle. So I think what we're gonna do here the next few days is we're gonna put this against, see, you can see it's, we're gonna put this stuff up against the um, Meguiar's ceramic spray and ceramic wax. I think, I personally think that this is just a a different version of those two products maybe in a more concentrated form um, of course a different color and they're using them you know those neon type colors I guess you could say but it's, it smells very good lately I've been very impressed with McGuire's products as far as the the, the smell or the the user experience I guess overall uh, now you know you folks let me know if you want me to use the marker tests, the markers that I have, use them as, you know, to test this stuff out or if you just want me to throw it down. Just throw it down and check the beading and throw some chemicals on it and see how it holds up for as far as the beading and sheeting, as far as my dragon tails and stuff, guys. So let me know. Uh, give me about, give me a few days to apply the stuff or get my, my garage cleaned out. That's kind of what I was planning on doing today, coming out here to clean up my garage. And I had this sitting here to the side and I figured I'd go do you guys a quick video. Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, today I want to let you folks know I got my Pro Hybrid Ceramic Sealant in the mail. I got it in the mail two days ago. Came pretty quick. And uh, I'm gonna apply it to this panel. I've had I've got a real busy week coming up, and I've had a real busy week, so I'm trying to fit you folks in on this here, so I can just put at least try to put out a decent video. I got I'm recording this on my on my phone, so bear with me as far as that. I'm gonna be doing this stuff one handed, but I'm gonna apply this on the panel here. I've already prepared this panel. This is my applicator pad. I have washed the panel down. Went over it and prepped it with some, prepped it with some of this uh, super clean, and then I, then I prepped the panel with this uh, McGuire's M105 or McGuire's 105. The product here, and I know I've, I actually did another video. I haven't posted it yet, and I may <clears throat> going over the product once I once I opened it when I got it in the mail. So this will be this video here will be coming out before that video, but basically, this product is designed. It says it's their best product, their best sealant, and that's the key word there, sealant ever, um, or so far. But it does require, per their instructions, it, it does require that you uh, polish um, the panel with some type and it doesn't recommend specifically uh a specific polish but it does recommend it does say you have to do at least a one step one step on the panel to get it ready for this product here to seal it so so what i've done again just to recap real quick super clean one uh back with the mcguire's 105 and now i'm going to seal the surface so let's just kind of go over this surface here and what we're going to do is i'm going to going to let's just wipe it down some more make sure the breeze off i'm going to apply this product today and i know it says you don't have to let it set up for like two to five minutes but i think it's supposed to and i'm just going off memory here i think it's supposed to set up for 12, 12 hours or so before you but i could be wrong i'm not sure but I know you're supposed to let it sit up for two to five minutes. So I'm gonna apply two applications of this on here. Of course, I'll bring you along for the first application and we will let it sit up for two to five minutes and then I'll set, I'll apply a second application here. So I'll do this one-handed, folks. 
It's got a grape smell. Like I said, I went over that in my my open box video here. And it looks like grape also. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna apply just a little bit on the applicator pad, like three or four dabs here. And then I'm gonna apply it over the panel. And what we'll do is let it set up about a day or so. It'll probably be two, about three days because I have to work this weekend. Oh, it smells so good. We're gonna apply it. Obviously, you see I'm applying it in a crosshatch pattern. That's kind of what I like to do. There's nothing wrong with with doing the uh, the cartwheels or circles, whatever you want to call them. But I like doing the crosshatch. I think it just helps level. You don't see those big big streaks. Everything just kind of levels itself out. It helps it. Now this stuff kind of disappears or dissipates after a few minutes. It's supposed to leave a high gloss behind. Extreme gloss is what they're saying. The best sealant protection that McGuire's has ever had, supposedly. All right, you kind of see I buffed it. I've completely buffed the, buffed it clear until it turned clear, so. Uh, we'll give this about give this about two to five minutes, and I'm going to apply another coat, and then tomorrow, well, actually anywhere between tomorrow and Monday, we'll come out with a. I'll do a video just kind of demonstrating the beading, the sheeting, everything, and just basically not comparing this to anything else, just seeing what it does on its own. I'll do it out here in the driveway. Just see what it looks like, see how the dragon, dragon tails, you know, see how that does. We'll, we'll definitely hit it with some super clean or some type of chemical and, uh, and see what it looks like and see how it holds up just by itself. And then later on next week, and hopefully we'll be able to, you know, put it up against something like this here or maybe some uh, turtle wax three in one something like that and put it up against some other stuff and actually we want to put it up against some of the uh the turtle wax wax ceramic wax i think i, per I pretty much think this is the same stuff just rebottled maybe even maybe uh you know a little stronger or whatever sorry for the camera i'm trying to pick up stuff here show you folks Got a rag here. All right, got a rag. So let's buff this off. Let's move this pad out the way. We'll buff this off here. And of course, folks, I'm doing this one-handed, so trying to keep this video under 10 minutes if I can. So it's not going to be a complete video. It's not going to be, you know, I'm just wanting to put something out for you folks that you guys know I'm thinking about you guys. Uh, that I'm not. It's real slick under the microfiber. I can tell when I get down here where I didn't apply it, it catches. So you can definitely see a difference, feel a difference in, the, in where it's applied and where it's not, which I mean most products you can, you can tell that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm, I'm wiping it off in the same method. I mean, it's, it's really, it's really, it's, been, I mean, it's really nice here. So let's go ahead. I got you guys on, on camera. Let's go ahead and apply the second coat. Like I said, we're gonna buff this one out here until it disappears again. All right. Put too much. I don't wanna waste this stuff. You can apply this by hand or you can apply it with a machine a polisher. So however you prefer to do it. Right. And I know some of you guys had some questions about the 16 ounce bottle. Obviously, yeah, I got the 16 ounce bottle. All right, folks, the ending of the video got cut off, got interrupted actually. So I didn't get to finish, but I know when I got cut off, it, uh, I was saying that this stuff comes in 16 ounces and 20, and 16 ounces in a gallon size. And I got the 16 ounce. I know some of you folks are having a hard time finding it. If you go back to my other video, 
if you look back, I guess uh, maybe about a week or so. And I put a link in that to where I bought this at on Amazon. So again, we've applied two coats to this panel here after we polished it with some uh, 105. And now we're gonna let it set up for at least a day, probably three. And then I'll bring you folks back do a separate video and we'll uh, see how this stuff holds up as far as the beating and sheeting and dragon tails, whatever you want to call them. And then we'll throw a little chemicals at it and see how it does. All right, folks, again, thanks for liking the channel. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. I would ask if you haven't done so already, if you would, and leave me some feedback, leave me some comments. Thank you.